though the music is kind of loud. Can you hear me better now? I do apologize for that. Hopefully I can try to figure that out. First time streamer problems, it's okay, we'll figure this out together. leave this hanging too long. <sighs> if I sound extremely tired, that's because I've been working seven days straight, had no games, and I feel like playing a game. Let's leave this so the music can probably calm down a little bit. Cute little panda. I actually want to create a new character. Alright, so the game I'm playing is Sarah Online. It recently came out for the PS4 and Xbox One. It's a free to play game. Panda. Yes, Panda. It's a free to play game. Uh, you could buy it at the PlayStation Store or the Xbox Store, whatever. It's totally free. It's a giant MMO. I love it. It's free. I'm a guy on a budget. Anything free is very lovely. Uh, but the thing I like about this game the most is the free combat. It's a action combat game, so the action is very fast. It's very pleasant, and it. 
it works. It works for me anyway. So we got some options here. We got the Castanic. Very edgy looking race. I don't think I'm gonna look at the females that much. Cunning, fiery, and ready to seize their destiny. The Castanic. Let's see here. In what game is not without the humans? Alone we gain hope, but together we gain victory. Come on. I kind of like these guys. They're kind of like, um, dragon humans, if that makes sense. Amon. Amon, high elf. You always have to have an elf. You got the Papori. Which, my little panda is a Papori. This one is a bulldog. Or it could be, um... Yeah, yeah, I guess it's the bulldog. And then we have, uh... Helen. No comment, moving on. <laughs> Puppy pucks. Yeah, there's a lot of controversy here around the Ellens, but I try not to pay attention to it. This is the Barak. They're basically they, these guys are really cool. They're descendants of giants, and they're kind of like rock base, and they have no gender. They're just like rocks. So I kind of like these guys. Um. I'm actually gonna make a character uh, for a friend of mine. She started playing when I got this game. I told her about it. And she started playing with me. And my panda is paired with one of her characters, and now I'm gonna make another character for her sorceress. So. No, I don't want human. I'm gonna be Dragonborn. Always want drag uh, Dragonborn. It's always cool. Another good thing about this game is just the class selection. It's it's great. You got the Berserker. They have a giant axe. Yeah, Archer. You got a Priest. Your basic healer. You got a Lancer. Slayer, two-handed sword. This is really cool. This is what my panda is. My panda is called a mystic. They're basically healers like the priest star, but they could summon thralls to come and help everyone, which is really cool. I like that. And you got the two-handed warrior. And you got the sorcerer, which is my friend. Her character is a sorcerer. Um, you have this class right here, which is called a brawler. But the thing about the brawler is their race and gender lock. So you can only be a human, and you can only be a female human to be a brawler. So, I'll just throw it off really quick. She's got those big, gigantic clubs and, um... Some armor. It's nice armor, I, I'll give her that. Let's go back to Yamon really quick. Uh, this last one here... Hmm? Yes. <laughs> Yes, some. Some nice armor. Uh, this one right here is also a Reaper. You can only be... You can only be the fan service character. But you have to have a character 
over level 40 already to unlock this class. The fun part about this game is there's actually right now three classes missing. There is a gunner, uh, a ninja, and Valkyrie. Those are going to be added later, so right now these are the only classes we can work with. So for my purposes, excuse me. Had a little snack beforehand. I don't want to burp in anyone's ear. But for my purposes, since I already have a little Mystic Panda, a little cute little Mystic Panda, uh, from my friend who is a sorcerer, I want to be able to, you know, be her meat shield. But I want to do some damage, so I'm going to be a berserker. Because they wear heavy armor, they do burst damage, and when you get them high enough, they can actually be a secondary tank. So I'm going to have some fun with the berserker. So let's go ahead and make this guy. Alright. Got some presets here. Let's see. I want this guy to look cool, but I don't want him to look too ferocious either. Like, see that? That's too... That's too much. I mean, he's a dragon, but, you know... I want him, I want I want to be a handsome dragon. Alright, let's see here. Skull guy. See, I actually like this guy's face. Let me zoom in on the face. Okay, I like this guy. Let's see if we can change it up a little bit. Because I don't necessarily like his horns. Nah. I like the epic two horns. Else, uh, let's see, twelve or nine. Hmm. What do you think looks better? These horns or these horns? These are the nice horns. This one's nine. This one's twelve. All right. Yeah, nine looks the best. All right. All right. Two people said nine. I'm gonna go with nine. I'm gonna keep that face because I actually like that face. We're not gonna change the face. Let's change the color. Let's see. Ooh. That actually looks kinda nice. I'm gonna save that for later. Oh, nice dark blue. Got black. I'm always partial to black. Uh, his face looks like lime green. To be honest, I think this color works out. This looks like a color of a berserker. I am stained with the blood of my enemies. And they soaked into my scales and turned them a, a shade of crimson red. I think that would work out. That's my backstory. I'm not violent, what are you talking about? Of course I'm not violent, I'm the most peaceful person in the world.
Oh, okay, so those little things were his... Like, kind of like makeup or tattoos, I guess. That looks cool. Oh, that's where the, uh... The evil face comes in. It looks like I ate someone. Now it just looks like I'm a wraith or something. I think this will work. Yeah, I like that. Not gonna go into the fine details because you don't need to. This is also something cool that the game got. The game does. Excuse my stupid language. It actually gives you previews of what the armor is gonna look like on you, so you get to see what high-level armor will look on you. See, here's what I don't understand. Why, like, put more armor on your stomach, bro? I mean, yeah, you have armor in your chest, but your stomach's important too. I mean, we have scales, I guess. But I kinda don't want to depend on my scales. I want some armor there. That's a little bit better. Ah, uh, see, no. That's pretty badass. Look at that. So I'm guessing this is like a level 65 armor. That's gonna look badass. But no. This is what we start off with. A measly the little jumpsuit. Yeah, I gotta start somewhere. Alright, let's see here. <laughs> Imagine if I just went to the game with this voice. I'm the biggest guy in the world. With the cutest voice. <laughs> That'll be actually kind of hilarious. Uh, the voice is just fine. Alright, time to enter a name. <laughs> Let's see here. Good name. What's a good what's a good name for a dragon? I think the only dragon I ever watched growing up was the dragon from the Never A New Story. Puff. You wanted me to name him Puff the Dragon. Puff the Magic Dragon. Will appreciate me naming the character Puff, and I kind of don't want to be named Puff. <laughs> I'll do it for you one day, though. I'll make a new character and name him Puff the Magic Dragon. Mm -hmm. 
don't worry, I'll do it for you one day. I'll, re I'll remake a, a character that looks better than this, I'll name him Puff the Magic Dragon. Even better, I'll make him a sorceress. A sorcerer. And, and he'll be and he'll be like throwing fireballs and ice balls everywhere. And every time I kill something, I'll say "boom, bitch." Hold me to it. I'll do it. Hold me to it. All right. Serious name time. You know what the problem is about dragons? They all have evil names. <laughs> I'm thinking about all the dragons I know. I'm like, other than Puff, every other dragon's evil. And the one from Never Ending Story. He's not evil, but... something I always put on my last name. Are you serious? Yeah, you better give me that name. No one's smart enough to take Fafnir. I bet, I bet half people don't even know who Fafnir is. If you know who Fafnir is, congratulations. Cursed by Loki in Norse myth. Congratulations, you know who Fafnir is. The Divine War sundered gods and titans, destroying the world that was. Amid the tragedy, a single drop of hope coalesced to preserve one tiny part. Sheltered from time, a mystical tree grew. Giving fresh eyes the power to see the world as the gods once saw it. The world's greatest scholars and magicians came to study the divine tree and protect it. They magically erased the island from mortal records. I'm going to go I can't But not see before the forces of, of evil control. sent their own champion. See you later, Pixie. It's funny I actually care about the story of this game. 
just find that so interesting. In most MMOs, you don't care, you don't give a crap about the story. But for this one, I actually care a little bit. I don't know why. Right. Before we do anything else, I am moving to another channel to prevent a lag. Because lag would not be fun. There we go. For the Federation. And now we begin the questing. There was shiny and then corruption. Because of force and because it's a good story, basic starts are always good. That is true. Greetings. You look confused, child. Basic starts are always good. Alright, so, um... If you're watching me right now, I would lower the volume just a little bit. I am warning you right now. Because as soon as I talk to this little girl, she's gonna cry. So... Warning on your volume right now. <laughs> I'll give you a second. <laughs> really, really? I feel better now. Gotta love that voice acting. It wouldn't be so bad if her voice wasn't so high-pitched. Alright, so basically what the gist is going on... Apparently this kid... this Any kid that says gifted child... Was born on this island, they have the power to see the future... And to see when the enemy is going to attack. The military is using them... So they out the enemy. So this little girl, she had a bear... That boy running around apparently teased her and threw the bear into bushes. So we're gonna go deal with it right now. Alright. Get this bear. Hello, Zozo. Okay, so Zozo's so broken. We have to go fix Zozo. I wish I had gear like yours. Alright. Standard beginning quests are standard. Oh yeah, whenever you pick something up, your character does something, so my character will just... He, he just hulks out. <laughs> Alright. Fixing the bear. Fixing the bear. He's very proud of himself for picking it up so well. Exactly. He's very proud of himself for picking it up so well. He had to use all his muscles. Alright, I do not, for, for all this time playing this game, I do not know how to say her name. I want to say Anna, or Anya, I think it's Anya, I think that's how you're supposed to say it. So Anya, we fixed your bear. Stop crying, we fixed your bear. Here's your bear. You really gonna do it? Okay. She wants to have a tea party with us. So let's have a tea party. I 
I kind of like that about this game. It actually says little things like that, like about what your character is thinking or probably feeling at the moment. Do you want to play? Sure, we can play something. I leveled up! And I got skills. Here's the annoying thing about this game too. If you want to learn skills, you have to pay money for it. So I have to pay 37 copper to learn skills that I do in combat. So basically I'm like using money to pay for my training. I don't know if other MMOs do, do that, if you guys know about that, but I'm not used to it in certain MMOs I used to play. Alright. Oh, hello! Do you want to play? Okay, so apparently these trees are bad news. We gotta take down some. Maybe we have to see it. All right. This is what I like about the Berserker. The Berserker and the Lancer are the only ones that can actually do this, the block. They can also just dodge like that. But for the first couple of levels, to be honest with you, I'm going to be really over, uh, not over, underwhelming. The Berserker is not fancy. And I actually don't get a major power up until I start getting items. Make it snappy. Like once I start getting better axes, better armor, getting them higher level, to the enchantment, uh, I won't. You won't see that much damage coming from me. All right. So this is the bread and butter skill. You just charge it up, slam it down. made for this area. I mean, they're trees and I have a giant axe. I win. Axes always be trees. I feel slightly bad for what I just said. Foul stench in the air. That is true, unless you cut it wrong. Then the tree will fall on you and you die, and then the tree beats the axe. Picked up some stinky mud. Hey bro, you want some of my stinky mud? new equip. Looks nice enough. And now, I'm gonna sell the old axe. So I get some money. And... Need help, kid? Good luck out there, kid. Pretty sure, yes. Before starting this character, I had another character. And I put all his money in a bank. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just take it all. 
collection, so I went from 5 silver to over 200 gold. So my character's rich. Hooray! Oh, it's used for crafting. Okay. I have all the money I could ever want. But I still can't buy love. Looking for love in all the wrong places. Something I can help Looking with. for love. Searching. Hello. I'm getting a strong children of the farm. Fa uh, children of the corn. What the heck is that movie called? Children of the corn. Children of the corn. Children of the corn vibes. What brings you? So they can make little saplings into bigger saplings. It's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, hello, All right, kid. Show me where the sap is. You gotta run faster than that, come on. Yes, me and your bear are best friends. I want my beans best friends. Sure, kid, we could play again right after we're done. But you gotta run faster for me, okay? Let's grab some sap. And of course, all hell breaks loose. For me? Do you want to play? Whoa. Okay. I don't care about taking damage from these guys. small targets with this class is really hard. I guess I just have to get used to it. I'm so used to my mystic. Play this game on the PC. And to be honest, playing it on the PlayStation, I enjoyed it a little bit more. Plus, it's a lot more accessible to me, anyway. Buddy, you okay there? Yeah, you don't look so good. Don't worry. Fafnir's got this. Have at thee. Chop you up. One. Hello, hello, Berserker. Crap, I missed. There we go. That's two. I gotta take on this big one. Come here. Put your back into it. 
do it. Don't say they're too strong to give up. Alright. Captain. Give me a sec. Uh Argons. Okay. So that's who we're fighting against. And check everyone is safe. They're safe in the storehouse. So the other kids are missing. So one was with, uh, with us, but the other ones went missing. Okay, so now... Uh, okay. You have a bad feeling? Yes, I have a bad feeling about this. That wasn't a good thing. Ooh, hello. H Hi, puppy. Thing. Alright. You wanna go at it? Let's go at it. Come on. Alright, no. Ow. Oh. Nope. Fuck you! Okay, that went a lot better than I did the first time I did this. No! no. Ah, well, cheap, cheap shot. Asshole. You're here on business. What was you? Basically, just like punched me in the gut, said I wasn't worth it, and then left. All right. New armor. I am wearing red. Oh yeah, this is a part of the game that I kind of don't like. The game will drop these strong boxes, and um, you can't open them. The only way to open them is to buy keys in the game in the in-game store, and you have to pay real money for that. So, I think that's one thing that I don't like about Terra, because the in-game store itself it doesn't have anything but costumes. Except for the keys, you know, the keys for the strong boxes. And but other than that, the in game store is pretty nice. All you get is costumes, extra character slots, stuff like that. And then like little buffs here and there. Like extra like I think it's like one is like a hundred extra X XP and that for an hour. So for a free to play game that has microtransactions Terra's one one of the few that don't overdo it, you know? Alright, we got some new skills. Alright, Cyclone. Can I not use Cyclone? Not yet. Actually, I want to put on my heart bar. Oh, it's on square. Okay. I didn't see it. Wait. If 
it's on square, why is it saying it's locked? That's weird. Give me a sec. Alright. So now we gotta go find Anna. Or Enya. I'm just gonna say Enya. There she is with her friend Zozo. Or Zuzu. Hey. Where is everybody? I don't know, kid. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Greetings, soldier. Alright. Is someone there? So now we gotta follow this girl. Alright, girl. Let's get going. Wrong button. There you go. Ooh. This is a really sad part. This game can get dark. It's like all these dead people. This wife or mother mourning for her son. And I think... Yep. This husband mourning for, her, for his wife. They all basically say the same thing. Like, you know, this is sad, but get this kid out of here, because we don't want her to see this. Mm? Is someone there? It's not safe here, kid. You gotta go home. Oh my goodness. We get more skills? More skills and upgrades. Hey. You gonna move up? Okay. Have you seen my friends? Alright. So now we gotta put some of these bears out of their misery. I'm sorry, bear. Out your misery. I'm right. This is not animal abuse, I swear. Affected bears. So I guess they're bears that are dead and then re were revived into Argons. So technically they're not bears anymore. I gotta get better at dodging. skills, but now we're seven. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Hmm? Hmm? Need help? <laughs> Snack first, then work. Thank you, Mr. Puppy Thing. 
Alright. Have you seen my friends? Okay, kid, you gotta I'll keep trying go, to go home. Go home or do something else. Right, so we're gonna help this puppy guy out with these things. Our growing detectors. And I moved when I shouldn't have. Come on, character. There you go. What are these things made of? Well, yeah, they're crystal, but like... It's so freaky. Alright, puppy. Do, la, la, la. Did what you asked me to. So he's with the... Valkion Federation. Whoever that is. Oh, more of these guys. Valkion Federation. Valkion Federation Captain. I guess that's who we need to talk to. Victory for Valkion. Okay. What can I tell you? Got new stuff. New stuff. New stuff. New stuff is always nice. That. Ooh, that looks lovely. Nice. Starting to look like a badass. Got a new axe. Very nice. Doesn't look like it's gonna fall apart anytime soon. Alright, got some new skills. Vampiric Blow. Judge up your axe by holding down the skill button, then release it to attack. A portion of damage returns to you as healing. Only charges to level 1. Activates faster, but with less healing if you first overcharge. Oh, if you first overcharge Thunder Strike, Cyclone, or Lethal Strike. Okay. We got flatten, thunder strike went to thunder strike two, flatten, pound the ground, knocking down enemies within four meters. All right, very nice. You're looking handsome there, buddy. All right. Oh yeah, I gotta read this note in my inventory. Moon's letter. Victory for Valkion. And then insists on leaving as soon as she got here. She says that the other children are in danger. And she is the only one who can save them. I have got her all the guardians available and we are skating, ex or escorting her to Tyran. Follow us without delay, Aaron. Goddess Velik, watch over you. Why are you listening to a kid? I mean, granted, she can see the future, but she's still a kid. Okay, what well... What can I tell you? We gotta go save these people. There's no telling what they're, what happened to them, or if they're in trouble. Kill these things first. I'll fight this thing one more time because I want to show something off. Well, not the fact that I need to get better at dodging. But this little fact, if I hit a skill, I can chain into another skill. So 
Lots of them. One of the many nice things that Terra does. When you activate a certain skill, you can chain into an higher skill. And you just make these little combos. All for you see one, my people anywhere? For all. Okay, Musketeer, have you seen my people? Go where the guardians came through. Told them not to go any further. The temple's overturn overrun. Ugh. Victory for Valkion. So basically it's battlefield right now. Got some rings. Start blinging my character out. Those two skills. Just smack them, turn them around. Sorry. So these were the one the guardians that were following her. This guy could be my brother. I mean, I'm not trying to be racist here, but he could. So I guess I have to take down these things. Fight me! Boom. Turn around for me! Feet monster. For I have conquered you. Now burn away into nothing. Oh, you're back. Well, I'm out of here. Gotta admit, though, this game is very nice looking. Flesh rune. It's gonna be okay. Yeah, let's help you out. Send up a flare.
Aw, thank you. Overwhelm. And Cyclone 2. Does Overwhelm look like? Oh yeah, that's right. It's like, it's a beat, it's a speed spell. Or skill. I don't really have spells. I'm a berserker, not a sorceress. Sorcerer. I will continually get that mixed up. can stop me now! Sorry about that. Something was just acting weird. You count on me, buddy. Bastards. Let me through. You're gonna let me through whether you want to or not.
But this is what the Berserker does. This is what usually you'll do. Better than my first time. My first what can time, I tell you? that guy just gave me a whole new butthole. Like it was not pretty. Let's go. You with me now, puppy. My heart seems 
sees you always. Say this isn't a shot, so damn it. What can I tell you? Don't show me a picture of her after she says that. That's adding insult to injury. What brings you here? Now, if you're all lost, uh, basically what, en what ends up happening is she prayed to the goddess um, to save our lives. But in doing so, her and the other kids can't wake up now. They're basically in spent animation now. And there's no way to wake them up without killing them. So... Right now, they're telling me, why don't you go join the Federation, and maybe you can find a way to free the kids from their eternal slumber. Or not. It just depends. I really hope there's a quest that we could have that could wake them up. That would be kind of nice to bring it all, all around. But I haven't gotten that far yet, if there is a quest like that. I hope there is. It'll be kind of nice. Hey, what? All right, buddy. What can I tell you? We're joining the Federation. Unable to harness the tree's power, the Argons left, content with stopping the divine sight. Without the Seer's warnings, the Argon assault began in earnest. The Valkyon Federation rallied the races together to defend against the Argons. But now, more than ever, they need strong defenders, like you. Of course they do. Victory for Valkyon! Because we handle everything. Alright. Ooh, this is one of my favorite parts of the game. Fortune smiles on us. And I drank a potion by accident. Of course other. I did. Alright, we're going to Velika. Ten silver, not a problem, and look at this. We're riding a freaking Pegasus. Majestic. Bye bye, village. Onward to Velika. So how's everybody's day? I'm assuming someone is still watching me. I mean, I'm pretty boring. I'm a pretty boring guy. I'm trying to be as entertaining as I can be. That's if I, if I remember if I can talk. Well, when to talk. So beautiful. I'm really hoping that um, when guilds start to get bigger, we'll see the sky castles. Cause uh, on a PC version, uh, if you if you play Terra on a PC, you'll know this already. But Terra on the PC, they have giant sky castles that are guild halls 
for really high ranking guilds. And I'm hoping that they'll add that to the to the console version, because that's a really cool part. You'll just see Velika, the whole skyline draped in like sky castles. You'll even see like towns here and there inside the world where people take up residence and they're like this entire area belongs to this guild and their sky castle will just be set up there like a beacon for other people to know. I think it's really cool. You need my help? You need right. my help? And we got Pony apparently. We got a new axe. Very nice. Got a potion. I actually want to hot that hot bar that into something. Gonna put it here. All right. Uh, first and foremost, I'm gonna go to channel three because I don't want to deal with lag. Like the type of horse that has to be big enough to carry my fat ass. I mean, granted, my character. Look how big my character is. How big is this horse? Oh my god! Apparently, this horse is huge. Uh, don't push yourself so hard. You need anything from me? Yes, expand my inventory, you please. You look trouble. Mm -hmm. Oh no, I'm fine. Looks like someone played a trick on you. <laughs> I just want to get that out of way because I'm. Yeah, they should have. Since I have the gold. It is like, it like maxed out my inventory. I got 123 gold left. That is plenty of money to do whatever I want. I have right. a moment for you. Why? Thank you. All right, I gotta go talk to the big boss. Bigger than that horse. You look confused, child. Velika, city of wheels, capital of the Valkian Federation and bastion of civilization on the continent of our room. We've gathered here, human, high elf. Aman, Baraka, Kastanik, Popori, and Ellen to withstand a menace we could not face alone. The Argons. Across the sea on the continent of Shara, our armies are fighting the Argon threat to a standstill. For now. But the Argons aren't the only danger, not by a long shot. With our army on the Argon front, monsters on our frontiers have become bolder. 
They've plundered entire towns. And we can't let the home front collapse. We hope that the fighting spirit of our youth can make up for the numbers we lack. Who knows, maybe you're the next alien. Velik knows we could use one. Greetings. to them, but it takes more than that to impress me. And I have little tolerance for glory hounds like you. Kids these days, no sense of proportion. <laughs> Now get out of here, or headquarters will start to smell like pigling. I don't know why. Whenever he says you kids these days have no sense of proportion, I have to wonder. Is he making a dick joke? Think about that for a second. Is he making a dick joke? And he pulls out his sword and says it. I mean, if you really want to get technical, man, my axe is pretty, it's pretty large and in charge. I'm just saying. That, hmm. That's all I'm gonna say. I know you're the only person there. You never know though, maybe someone will come in and start watching me. What? Alrighty. Ooh, very nice. Ooh. I don't like the blue, though. I wish the blue was another color. Black or gold? That would, that would look nice. I prefer purple. Purple would have worked too. Oh, why am I lucky? My poor chick is wearing a super short dress and stilettos in the snow. <laughs> 
Well, I can't wait for my warrior to. I can't wait for your warrior. Oh, well, my warrior to see your chick. I'm I mean, the, help. the only reason. The warrior is said hello like that to this person. It's because he hasn't met your chick yet. Until he meets your chick, he doesn't care about women that much. Plus, you know, I don't like this girl's hair. This girl's hair is so flat. Tiny woman. Not anyone would be tiny against this guy. All right. Teleportation. You get what you pay for in this life. Uh, whoever's whoever joined us, welcome. Welcome to the stream. I'm having fun with my friend Glitter Pixie. She is giving me ha she is giving me attitude because my character looked at a female NPC the wrong way, and now I'm paying for it. So basically, I'm in the doghouse. <laughs> now we're just killing wildlife. Yes, the irony. In all fairness, though, that's why I get. I shouldn't. Have, I shouldn't have said hello like that. Ooh, good. The relic shards are coming into place. Certain levels, your character will get relic shards. I believe they're supposed to represent certain gods, or maybe heroes of old. I don't even know. But right now, if I get five shards, I get a brand new weapon for free. The weapon's gonna be pretty powerful. some flowers. What every heavy warrior wants to do, he wants to pick up flowers. Hello. Ooh, hello. I'll just kill you guys.
go. My guy was so happy. It's like, yeah, I picked up a flower. Yeah. Oh, hello. Wanna see a cool trick? All right. Do I know you? You get what you pay for in this life. You need something to There we go. Amethyst. Don't push yourself so hard. Now we're gonna use these again. That counted. That would suck if they counted all for her and not for me. Oh, yeah, just one more shard. That's all I need. how the enchanting works. So for enchanting you need Treat Sock and Alcas. I like to do auto enchant and just let it enchant away. Not only two times. Awesome. Nah, I'm a lot stronger. I might as well put these guys on. I think I'll try to get to level 15 and end the stream for today. Mostly because I want to have some. Oh, 
hopefully I'll be able to do more streams. I really want to start streaming regularly. At least every weekend. Or maybe every other weekend. But most likely every weekend. Just this week, man. I tell you what, I was working really hard. And plus, I want to spend time with Glitter Pixie. Me and Glitter Pixie are really good friends, so... I like spending time with her. I'm doing slightly better than I was before. Just doing my vanguard. I 
kind of an idea. This is a gutsy move because I'm only level 14. So this could kill me. Alright. the crest because I don't feel like getting attacked anymore. Ah, uh, this is the life of Berserker. It's slow, but it's manageable. I'm a little halfway to 15, so I think I'll keep going. I said 15, I'm going to do 15. Hopefully I'm not in the doghouse for too long. I think Glitter would forget will forgive me sooner or later. Hopefully sooner rather than later. Come at me! So close. Just a little bit more, come on. That's all I need.
That's it for the Vanguard request. Got myself a pearl. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead, go ahead and end the stream here. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for supporting. Ah, hopefully I'll get better at this, but you never know. Anyway, hopefully I get to see you guys next time. See you next weekend. Bye-bye.